How's it going? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Let's get on this bad boy and get it started. Here we go. Welcome back. I know we've been doing both of these at the same time, but I think I'm going to split it up to make it easier. If you want to learn how to do a karambit or you want to learn how to do a compound recurve. We'll take them one at a time. I'll show you how to do the bevels on the karambit first. I'm going to flat grind them. The last time I did a hollow grind, and man, it was a lot harder than I expected. So we'll start with this one and see where we go. Let's get this all dykemed up. Here we go. All things, everything's dykemed up. Let me put the center line here. Now we'll get the flat grind in this bad boy. I'm gonna try, I've never tried starting with the file guide on, so we'll have to see how it is. I might just go halfway up and, and bring in the J flex and then do the rest till I can get that nice curve. Cause J flex belts will ru ruin your curve, so. But we'll see, take it slow and see how it goes. Oops, guess I have to take this off to do the center line. <laughs> Can't really get it flat there. <laughs> I think I'll just do some of the bevel and then we'll surface grind this. I almost forgot, I wanna flatten everything out. It's pretty good, but I just wanna make sure we're okay. I'm gonna start out like that. I'm not gonna take it right to the thin point, but as we go up in grits, I'm gonna make it thinner and thinner. Cause that's not, we definitely don't want it to finish there, but for the 36 grit, we're gonna start there. And I think I am, I'm gonna just stop like halfway up with this on. That way I can put the belt right on the edge and cut straight up to here. And then we can take it off and we can do our J belts to get this all smoothed in. And then we'll start. We'll see. Over to the grinder. All right, got a old 36 on here, so we're gonna break the 90s. I'm gonna give it a try. This might not be a good knife to start this with. So we'll see, we'll start it in and just bring it down to that line and see how we go. I got it right on the edge, nothing hanging over for this first part. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work for this because of the angle. We'll just have to freehand it. <laughs> well, at least you gotta try. So now I will be hanging it over. All right, no hanging over. And yeah, we're gonna have to do this all off the edge. The only difference between this and the hollow grind is I won't have to pull up, I can, you know, Keep everything kind of straight. Where with the hollow grind, I had to worry about how the hollow was coming out. But still gonna be kind of difficult. Here we go.
<laughs> Oops. I forgot this was a worn belt and I'm just breaking the 90s. I was getting ready to go to it. All right, let's get this side done. It seems like breaking the 90s is the hardest part. Once you get going, it seems like it's going to be okay. I have my wrong glasses. I need to get the glasses I can... My, my 0.20s and my 2.0s so I can actually see. Those are 1.25s just to make it so I can read a little bit better. Alright, there's the 90s. I need to clean my glasses. They're getting all fogged up. But... See, this is the reason why we keep it thick. See, I went over the line real... I'm not used to this kind of bevel. I'm not used to this shape. So I want to keep it thick at first till I realize what I'm doing. I, actually, I still got a little bit right here to go on the line. Now I got my good glasses on, but... You can see this side's to the line. Now we just got to bring it up. Let me get a brand new 36 and clean my glasses. Cause man, look how nasty those look. Can you see that? <laughs> Got my glasses clean. I'm wondering if it's from, because when I had this mask on, it might be escaping, you know, my breathing might be escaping and fogging up. Because I'm full of hot air. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. Man, these glasses are driving me crazy. Must be all my hot air. <laughs> so, I said this before, but to all you newcomers, there's a reason I don't wear gloves. So I can tell how hot the blade is getting. If it's too hot for my hit fingers, it's getting too hot for the blade and you dip it. I see all these makers wearing gloves and going to town. It's like, how do you know if you're ruining your heat treat? So. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this side and then we're going to bring this middle down a little bit more when we go up to 60. Since this one's already been heat treated, I am just going to go 36, 60. Then I'll skip to 120 because by 60 I'll have it down to a smaller, thinner line. You don't want your final edge. You know, you don't want your final edge from your starting belt. So you want to kind of bring it down a little bit as you go up. Because if you don't it, you'll all of a sudden have a zero grind and you'll be flattening this out and making it smaller. Here we go. So what I'm doing for this side, you know, you got to figure out the best way for you, but I'm considering this much, this two inch, you know, a flat part. Like this is flat. I'm not even worrying about this, but I am lifting this part because I don't want to gouge in a two part inch part right here. So I'm kind of doing this straight, but I'm also lifting this up because if you go straight in, you have a big old gouge right there. So you want to be careful if you're going straight like that and just, you know, watch what you're doing. All right, now that we got this first part, now we're just going to do in sections, maybe here and here, you know. And then we'll just blend it all through. Because right now we're just rough grinding. Then once we get through that rough grind, then we got to worry about, you know, making it look pretty. And now that we're doing, we're not touching beyond here, we can bring the belt back over this way. We just want to make sure it's hanging over. If you want this swooping like that.
All right, so I stopped about here, so let's move the belt back that way and finish her all up. We're gonna surface grind this neck, so all this doesn't really matter. Whew. I think that's good enough for 36 grit. Let me put this on the surface grinder and get it all taken care of, make sure we're all flat, and then we'll go from there. Since we only have to do that much, I'm not worried about what's hanging over. Looks like we might have to do this in two passes, so. <laughs> That's funny, we can only go so far because the hook catches on the... <laughs> Yeah, a little bit right here, but that's fine because that's where it's coming up to, so. All right, we're not touching. Here we go. All right. I think that's all we need for that one. We're straight. Yeah, man. Good to go. <laughs> got it all diked them up. So I just got to mark the lines. I'm trying something different. You can see I took a pen and I marked kind of where I want the lines to go. So I'm going to try to stay within those lines just to make sure we're good. And I still got to mark the center line. Now that the sides have been surface ground, yeah, we can mark the center line thin and we know it's going to be perfect because we're not going to bring these in. These are done. You know, we might, once we get over 200, because I brought these to a 240, so like 400, I might do it with the magnet and all that, but these are ready to go. All right, I'm going to mark the center line, then to the grinder. So it looks like one line, but there's actually two. But you can see, when we surface ground this, this side came down smaller because we got more room on this side, and that's what I was talking. We had to take more off one side than the other. That's why you leave them thick. Or that's why I leave them thick. You know, if you find a different way you like better, then... But I'm going to try to stay within this line and this line. If I go over, then I'll have to compensate for it, but we'll see what we're doing. All right, let's get this done. So I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying. I'm, I'm lifting the blade up a little bit here, so I'm not getting that two-inch grind. And I'm just bringing it in, just so I can see it's a little high right there. I went a little high, so I just and I don't want to cut over into here too much. I just want to bring up like from here to here, and then fan it over so it's all nice and straight. So I'm just taking my time and getting it all going. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it in sections. See all the facets? I'm just going to take time and break it down. We're right on the line here. I got a little bot spot right there. But I got to get all these facets out first. Right here is pretty good. And then we'll blend it all back in. All right, side one. Got a few spots right there we gotta touch up, but that's all right. Brand new one 20, let's get this done.
Yeah, this one's kind of hard to figure out and hold because of my hands, so. But I think we're getting it. Right here, I can't seem to bring up. Yeah, so you can see where my fingers are. It's kind of hard though. I'm trying, I'm a little worried about how I'm holding it like this. Because if something happens, it's going to kick out of my hand. But I need to bring up right here. All right. That's about it. So now I'm just gonna keep going up 400. Got a nice thin straight line. But first, you know, I'm gonna start the handles and all that. So let's go back to the bench. All right, so that's about it for this one. You know, I'm gonna, I put some oil on it to keep it nice and clean and all that. So check this out, after grinding it, this wasn't on here when I put the Dicom on. It must have been from Sparking down the sparks hitting it and putting another temper on there. I've never seen that happen pretty wild But this one's done for now Next video I'll do the compound. I want to split them up So this might be a pretty short video, but I just want to dedicate to how to grind the ceramic bevels And then how to do the compound grind, you know each dedicated grind and then we'll get on to the handles and all that Man, that fits right in your hand. <laughs> so don't forget, once we get to a thousand subs, I'm giving this away to somebody. It's basically done. I talked to Sam today and we're gonna send each other logos. I think I'm gonna take some of that black oxide and tape it off and just dab it and see what it looks like with the black oxide dabbed on there. But yeah, thousand subs if someone's getting this. Stay tuned and comment and all that. Let me know what you think I should do for the giveaway. I was thinking maybe whoever says they're in, I'll just put numbers next to their name and then do like a random pick from one to whatever the number is. That's what I'm thinking. But comment, give me ideas. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Remember there's affiliate links if you need tools for knife making or cameras for doing vlogs or all that. I've got links down below where you can go to Amazon and get stuff and it gives a little kickback to the channel. So I got shirts and knives down and the links and all my links in the description. So hit that little bell. Thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day and as always, take it easy.